Hi class, it's Miss Gilbert. Now we are going to try classifying quadrilaterals. So I'm going to draw a quadrilateral. I'm going to try to see, look at these slopes and the lengths. I see that all of the lengths are the same. And the slopes, what do you notice about the slopes? They are opposite reciprocals because one over three changed to negative three over one, which is the same as negative three. So that means that all of these sides are perpendicular or 90 degrees. And all of the sides are the same length. When all of the angles are 90 degrees and all of the sides are the same length, square root of 10. What type of quadrilateral is that? It's a square. Okay, next example. I see negative one over three and negative three. Those are not opposite reciprocals. So that means that they are not um, perpendicular, but I do see that they have the same slopes here and the same slopes here. So there's parallel lines, but not perpendicular. And then let me see, the quadrilateral, O, H, M, Y. So O, H, and M, Y are parallel. H, M, and O, Y are parallel. This is square root of 10, this is square root of 10, and this is two root 10 and two root 10. So that means we have two sets of parallel lines and they're both, um, both opposite sides are equal. So this will be a parallelogram. Okay, if you wanna try the next one, you can try the next one. I'll do this last one with you. If we look here, one over four, six over seven, negative four, and nine over two. So I know that one over four and negative four, they're not parallel, but they are perpendicular, which is 90 degrees. And the other ones are not the same slope and they're not, um, so that means they're not parallel and they're not perpendicular, but their lengths are the same. So it could look something like this. And I notice like A, H, S, Z, maybe it's like actually, these lines are the perpendicular lines, so that needs to be A, H, S, Z, there we go. So A, H is one over four and H, S is negative four, so these ones, also our square root of 17. So they're the same length and these ones are the same length, square root of 85. And so this um, would be a height. Okay. Now, if you're given 
points, you can plot them on a graph. So A is four, seven. B is nine, seven. C is six, three. And D is one, three. And then if I connect the dots, connect the points, I use the distance formula to find the length of each side. So for straight lines, you don't need distance formula. You can count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For diagonal lines, you need to use the distance formula. Remember, distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 squared. Plus y2 minus y1 squared. So for BC, I'm looking at these numbers, BC, X2 minus X1 plus Y2 minus Y1, 6 minus 9, negative 3, 3 minus 7, negative 4, this is 9, plus 16 and 9 plus 16 is 25. So remember these are all square root. I know the square root of 25 is 5. So I know the length of BC is 5. And then for DA I will use this one D and A. So we have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, negative 3 squared, negative 4 squared, 9, 16, and we have square root of 25 again, which is 5. Now I'm noticing that all of these sides are the same. But now I need to check if they're parallel and perpendicular. So the slope of AB, when it's a horizontal line, that slope is zero. So for AB and CD, the slope is zero. Now, if you want to find the slope without counting, you can use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, so, for example, if I'm doing BC, I'm going to look at these numbers for B and C. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, I get negative 4 over negative 3, which is positive 4 over 3. Or you can just count. So I'll, I'll count for dA. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So that's positive 4 over 3. So these are not perpendicular, but these two are parallel, and these two are parallel. So we have four congruent sides and four parallel sides. That means that this is a rhombus because all of the sides are equal. It's a type of parallelogram, but since all of the sides are equal, it's a rhombus. So you can practice with this one. You can pause the video however you need to. Or 
more. You can practice with this one. 